did it without question. Um, you know, so we're always going to push the importance of, of that um, because it, it's something that um, a lot of folks need to subscribe to and invest in now, invest in your health now in any way you can. Um, not everything's going to go perfectly or, or like you expect, um, but it's still worth investing in, in, in doing that and doing that. So I, I feel great as I prepare to go home and see my family because I've taken an extra step of precaution. Um, so just don't be afraid to, to do to do that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, um, you know, in terms of health and the booster shots and the vaccines, um, there's there was a travel ban on South Africa um, mm. because and, and correct me if I'm wrong about this T, but um, the, a new variant was was found, not necessarily mm -hmm. because of South Africa, but it but people reported about it in South Africa. Um, and it is called the Omicron. Mm. OK, not. Not Omarion, not, you know, not dun, 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 boom, not, not, not that, not that, not Omarion. Okay. Leave that man alone. Um, Omicron, Omicron. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a variant. They just actually had someone in California who tested positive for it. Um, so we, we got something new. We got something new that we got to deal with. Um, but T, what are your thoughts on, um, you know, the reports from South Africa and how do you feel like people have um, sort of looked at South Africa in a, in a weird way or in an unfair way, given this. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I appreciate your PSA, right? I, I think that knowing that there's a new variant out is so important that people are getting these booster shots. They're getting their vaccinations in general and that they're being safe and wearing masks. Cause I know that a lot of people got very lax recently, right? Like since what, well, maybe May and things started opening up, like the streets have been popping. Um, so uh, yeah, I just want to kind of talk about this variant and like how kind of South Africa has been painted as like the villain, right? They look, they were looked at as like the epicenter of this new, um, variant, uh, the Omicron. And yeah, I think it's important for us to know that like that variant didn't even originate in South Africa. They just have the medical technology to, uh, detect it, flag it, sequence it and tell the world about it. Um, cause they're the ones that are handling like uh, the research on AIDS and they're the ones handling the research on TB for the whole continent. So they're, their medical infrastructure is so good that they that because they were able to report it, that they were labeled like the the villains, the, the reason that this is kind of happening. So I think it's important for us to kind of like put that out there uh, like straight up. Um, but yeah, that new variant is spreading rapidly in Europe, Asia, Africa, and now in the United States, like North America. Um, there are, I believe, about 10 reported infections nationwide right now. I think two are in California, um, and I know it's across five different states. Um, so I, I just want people to be cautious. I want people to be aware. Um, and I want people to not be lazy, because I think that that's a, a part of racism right there. Like to look at like how this had already been in Europe and it had been in Hong Kong and it had been in a few different places, but because South Africa reported it, journalists were like, oh yeah, y'all are the problem. And then the bands, like we just talked about um, how you talked about originally is that like the bands were placed on like South Africa and Southern African countries. And that's totally unfair because if we're doing that, then like it needs to be across the board. We need to be on Italy. We need to be on Spain and these other places where uh, this variant has been t detected and detected even like um, where it's been even present even sooner. So I, I think that these are just things that we have to think of when we're thinking about uh, the medical system and like how racism can also like play a role in uh, the medical system. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I, so like, like you just said to y'all be safe, be careful, stay, stay, stay woke and stay healthy, right? Be diligent. Um, and, and, and don't put a stigma on, on, um, you know, an African country, um, and, and really, you know, just, I don't know. I don't even know how to really say it, say it T, but, you know, try to remove these, uh, these internalized stigmas that you have around certain places. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because we're all, we're all at risk. No one's, no one's dirtier or less healthy um, than anyone else on, on the planet. And so we have to sort of remember that, especially when it comes to comparing countries um, against, against one another. So um, be, yes, yes. Be careful and stay uh, vigilant.